Hey guys, what's up? This is Andrew with Just Diesels, and today I'm going to be showing you how to take your tires from looking like this to looking like this. Now, the best part about this whole process is that these tires are going to stay looking like this for months. They're going to be totally dry to the touch. They won't be like drippy and nasty like most tire gels are. And uh, this is going to be a lasting finish. So I'm going to show you guys what you need. You don't need a ton. So you're going to start with a stiff bristled brush to be scrubbing the tires with. Second, you're going to need either the Adams Tire and Rubber Cleaner or the Adams Wheel and Tire Cleaner. I really like the Wheel and Tire Cleaner because it does the wheels and the tires in one shot. It's nice and easy to use, but it'll get all the browning, the dirt, everything on your rubber that makes it look gross off. Now what that browning is, is actually uh, the tire oxidizing, right? So it's exposed to the air and there's a chemical reaction going on with the rubber in the air that leads to what's called tire blooming or browning. So we're going to be getting rid of that with this stuff. And then the piece de resistance is this stuff, the tire armor. Adams doesn't talk a whole lot about this product and I'm pretty convinced it's because it's so good that they won't sell their tire shine or their VRT. Um, but this is an amazing product that lasts for over a month. So you put this stuff on and it gives your tire that perfect brand new look, totally dry to the touch so it doesn't attract dust and dirt. Um, and it lasts for a really long time. So I've had it on my tires for months in rain, dirt, all kinds of environments. And seriously, if I wipe it off, it's still perfectly clean. So I'm gonna be reapplying it on these tires, but it's the same process. Now what's key about this is that you have to clean the tires really well in order to put this on. You can't just stick this on any tire. Um, it won't adhere and you won't get that full lifespan out of it. What you need to do is use the Adams Tire and Rubber Cleaner or the Wheel and Tire Cleaner to clean the rubber on this tire first to prep the surface for proper adhesion. So I'm gonna show you guys how that's done. Let's get into it. So you're gonna start with uh, just getting the tire wet. You're gonna spray it down. So now that I've gotten it wet and I've sprayed the tire and wheel cleaner, you can already see how the brown is starting to come off the rubber. Um, you can see that color change right there happening. So we're gonna let this sit for a little bit and then I'm gonna come back with this brush and really go to town. And sadly, there is no way to avoid, like you gotta put in some elbow grease with the brush. That's really where the magic happens is abrading the surface and getting that blooming off the tire, or in this case, the old uh, tire armor coating. So I'm gonna start going to town at that. Once this has a little bit more time, you wanna see it start, really the brown start running off. You'll see it kind of puddle on the ground in front of the tire. That's how you know it's ready to start pulling off and it's really done its work uh, chemically pulling off the blooming and the dirt from the tire surface. Now, while I'm at it, I'm also gonna go ahead and clean the wheel itself. I'm just using a soft mitt here. And again, with that wheel and tire cleaner, the, uh, the wheel cleaner will get to work on any brake dust you have. I actually have ceramic pads on my truck, um, so I don't get the iron brake dust that you normally get. But if you have traditional brake pads, you'll get that you know, brownish red residue that's the iron from your pads. Um, you'll start to see it turn purple with that wheel cleaner as it activates with the iron in the brake dust and it'll totally pull that off and remove it. So, we'll get this nice and clean here, and then we will hose it off. Okay, so normally, um, if I was just doing this tire, I would dry it off and then go ahead and apply this, but I'm actually gonna be washing the truck, and normally I start with the bottom of the truck first, so I'll do wheels, tires, suspension, and engine, and then I'll wash the actual outside, the paint of the truck. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my truck and I'll catch up with you guys once my truck is clean and we'll put on the actual tire armor coating on these tires. All right guys, we are back, truck is clean, ready to put this stuff on. So there's two things you need to make sure before you put this on. One, you wanna make sure that your tire is actually clean. Um, as you can see here, this tire is very clean. It looks like a new tire, uh, even though it's got a lot of miles on it. Two, you wanna make sure that it's dry. Uh, you don't want any water in, you know, hiding in little places on the tire. Um, that will mess you up and mess up this coating. Um, so what you're gonna do is, if it comes in a spray bottle, I actually like to put on a microfiber, um, just so I have a little bit more control of uh, the application process, because you really wanna avoid drips and runs. So you're gonna go and spread it evenly across the whole tire's surface. Um, you wanna make sure that, again, you have no drips and runs. If you do get it on painted surfaces or metal, you'll wipe that off. Maybe a little microfiber later for that. You're gonna go around, working it into the whole tire, into all the little tread lugs. Every little piece of everything, basically. All right, so now that we've gotten good coverage on the tire, what you're gonna do is wait. Um, you're gonna wait until this is totally dry 
and then come back if you want to reapply another coating. Basically, the more of these coatings that you layer, the more shiny the tire will appear. So basically, one coating, once it's dry, is gonna look just like a new tire. Two coatings is gonna give it a little bit more shine. That's usually what I find that I like for my personal taste. Three coatings will give a little more, et cetera, et cetera. So you can kind of play with it. Um, what's cool about this stuff is this tire will look like this for the next like month, two months. Um, doesn't matter what you do to it, rain, dirt, dust, anything, it will stay looking like this. This coating is also dry to the touch uh, once it's dry and water repellent too. So when I go out in the desert, I run my truck around, I have fun, I come back, I hose my tire off and it looks like this. Um, so it's pretty impressive how it repels dirt and stuff. Obviously, if you're braiding the tire surface, right, if I hit a rock and it scuffs the whole side of the tire, it's gonna pull the coating off. But, um, you know, as a day-to-day -day coating, this stuff is awesome and it lasts a really long time. So this is kind of my little secret trick uh, coating for, you know, getting longer lasting tires shine and just keeping the tires looking new without like that goopy, sticky, nasty tire dressing you always see a lot of people use. So. Let me know if this video helped out. I'm gonna be doing a bunch more of these. I'm also wanting to do a suspension cleaning video, how to detail like the underside of your truck, your suspension, your engine, all that stuff to keep it looking good. But yeah, I hope this helped you guys out. And uh, again, Adam's Tire Armor, awesome stuff. I love this. This is probably one of the best tire products on the market right now. I'm gonna have links in the description for all this stuff, um, everything I use in this video. And feel free to follow me on Instagram also at A-V-V-B-L-A-N-C. AVV Blanc. You can check out all these trucks, um, everything else I got going on. And thanks so much, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, catch you in the next video.